Hello friends, welcome back to videos. In the last video, we have been seeing about the implementation of the sigmoid layer in our MATLAB. So this was a deep learning tutorial. So in this video, we are going to code or we are going to learn how to code for DAC in an LPC1768. As per the data sheet of ARM LPC1768, it has a 10-bit DAC. And it has a one output pin referred as A out, which are being connected to the port 0 and then pin 26. So, this is our DAC. It is having a V reference positive, V reference negative. We are going to give a binary inputs for this, and we are going to obtain an analog output, and the two from an port 0 and then pin 26. We all will be knowing what is DAC. So DAC is digital to analog converter. So why we need DAC? So as per the previous uh, animation, you have been saying that computer understands only digital languages. All the processing is going to happen in numbers only. But the real world, what you are going to leave with, it is analogous in nature. So in order to convert the computer output to the real world understandable languages, we need a DAC. So as I was telling that uh, the DAC according to your data sheet it is going to have an analog output pin. So this is the equation for calculating an A out for you. So it is a value. So it is a digital value what you are going to just uh, need to be just converted to an analog one into V reference positive minus V reference negative plus V reference negative whole divided by 1024. So why this 1024? an input as a binary format so 2 rise to 10 so 2 rise to 10 is going to give you an 1024 so this is the thing 2 rise to 10 positive voltage is given by 3.3 .3 and the negative voltage is given by 0 so by rearranging this above equation so value what you are going to convert the binary value into a positive reference divided by 1024. So this is the reduction value or a reduced equation. We are having a three resistors in a DAC. First one is DACR, second one is DACR control and the second one is DACC control value. DACR, this is the resistor to store the value or digital value. So next two resistors have been meant for an DMA operation for an internal arrangements of our DMA axis. DACR resistor is an important thing and this is the table for it. But 0 to 5 has been reserved. So this is the second bit. So 16 to 15 bit. So here we are going to store an 10 bit data and the 16 bit of a DACR resistor is going to be just settled for your bias time. If it is zero, then the settling time will be of on and around of uh, one microseconds. If you are going to set the 16th bit to one, the settling time will be 2.5 microseconds. And the rest bits are being just made for an reserved section for an working by the some people. You understand what are all the resistors. Now you are going to see about what is the logic for coding the DAC in an LPC1768. So the 10 bit data to an DACR resistors. Take care that the data should be just sitting from an 6th to an 15th bit of a DACR resistor. This is the very first step. And the second step is generate a delay and repeat the step one till it reaches the maximum value. So let us see the flowchart for your program. So the first one is you are going to start your program. Later you are going to declare a variable called as a flag and a value. So the flag have been used for initiating one and zero. So this will be learning when you are going to just see the coding part. So the next one is configure the arm the 2.26 to function as a out. This is a very important task. So after doing this tag is equal to equal to 1 then it is on positive side of your DAC. If the flag is equal to equal to 0 then the output is at the negative side. So if you are getting a flag equals to 1 the value will be goes on incrementing because it is a positive peak. 
if the flag is going to turn for zero so you are going to decrement the value till it reaches the negative peak so for the first case if the flag is equal to equal to one if the condition is true increment the valentine and variable and load the same value to the dscr resistor if the value is greater than 3ff so why this condition again 3ff so you can go by this value 3ff so if you are going to convert this 3ff hex value into a decimal it is the number which is given by 1023 so 10 but that 2 raised to 10 is 1024 all the value you are giving it should be less than 1024 hence this value is given as 3ff so if the value is going to be increased more than 3ff then change the flag to the value 0 so if the flag is going to be turned as 0 you are going to decrement the value present in a variable and load the 10 bit data into an DSCR resistor so again the logic is same here whether the value is less than or equal to 0 if the value is not less than or equal to 0 again do the decrement and load the value to a DSCR resistor if the value is equal to 0 then change the flag value to the 1 if the flag value is 1 then you are going for an positive side so let's see the programming part the very first line i am going to include the lpc 17xx.h header in order to operate for all the functions of an lpc 1768 i am having an unsigned integer value which have been just uh, initialized to an value 00, 0 in order to avoid some sorts of uh, garbage values for this variable so unsigned care as a flag one i am going to initialize so this is as per your respective flow chart so i am going to define to start my main programming because so i am going to configure the very first so the very first step in my programming is to configure the port 0 and 26 pin to work as a out this is a very much important thing so how you are going to do it so you need to go for a data sheet so you can just see the below link where the data sheet is available you can just download it so the pin point port 0 26 pin should be initialized to an a out so it is in a function 10 so you are going to talk to an pins 20 and 21 so this is my 20 and 21 pin so i need to work this pin as a function called as an a out in order to do this i need to make 1 and 0 for that respective pins just do it so 1 and 0 just convert this nibbles to an equivalent hex value so it is 0 0 2 0 0 0 so this is the value what i have been written in this programming double zero two triple zero so it is port point two six is going to config configured as an a out configuration i need to code for this flag is equal to is equal to one so i am using a while one so it is on one endless loop is equals to equals to one enter this condition increment the value present here you are going to check whether the flag is equal to equal to one for the respective condition or initially it is one so it is entering here so the way <coughs> value present in a variable called as an val it is going to be just incremented and here after executing this equation what is the value present in an variable called as an val he is going to be just seated in an dscr resistor you can just see here so the value have been just seated here point so the digital value is four zero so the analog output is 0 0.0032 so let us see this 0 0.0032 was the equation reduced equation now i am going to check for the value one and the positive voltage reference voltage is 3.3 and divided by 1024 so you are just observing here the value is 0 0.0032 so that is what you are going to just give in an analog output if you are going to execute this so these values are going to be just changed till it reaches 1024 so here at this point you are going to check whether the flag is equal to equal to zero or not so like this so this is going to be just executing forever 
so if you are going to see here it is going to reach the positive peak negative peak positive peak and negative peak so this is the one thing for generating a dark output so that's it for this video guys if you are really enjoyed this video please give thumbs up for me if it is feeling if you feel that this video is helpful for your friends do share them comments are welcome thank you for watching this video